the most one-sided, dishonest offender of this media bias is CNN. Now let's take a look at their negative coverage just from last night, one night only. When I first heard that he was tweeting about something that was on this broadcast, a number of tweets, mm -hmm. uh, again, factually incorrect tweets last night, I kept thinking, doesn't he have like a briefing book on ISIS to be reading? He is the president-elect of the United States. I mean, should his behavior, I mean, should his behavior change more? Do you think it's sunk in that he is president-elect of the United States? President-elect Donald Trump announcing more cabinet posts today while continuing to attack the media, particularly CNN, for pointing out that his claim that there were millions of fraudulent votes is baseless. Speaking of interactions with the Fourth Estate, it has been 125 days since Mr. Trump took questions from reporters in a formal press conference. Why should he go to CNN? I mean, you guys were colluding with the Clinton campaign. Now, sadly, that's not all. Since the moment Donald Trump became the president-elect, the majority of CNN's coverage has been so overwhelmingly negative, and in some cases, just downright nasty. Watch this. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. I want to recognize a lot of our viewers at home. Uh, this is frightening to them, and I think we should acknowledge that. This may feel to a lot of our viewers at home like a national emergency. Why? Because Steve Bannon has been described as someone who has been described as a white supremacist, as someone who is an anti-Semite. Inflammatory words about Islam from Donald Trump's choice to be his White House national security advisor. This hour, hateful groups emboldened by Donald Trump's election. Online opinions moving offline. He doesn't like people setting fire to the flag because they were protesting him. He doesn't mind if someone stands up and says Sig Heil enough to complain about that. He doesn't understand that he's a steward of how you do things in America to keep it open and free. And that's the concern. Here now with reaction, the co-host of the hit show, The Five, Eric Bowling, Kimberly Guilfoyle, in other words, EBKG. Yeah. Uh, Keep oh, that's, simple, well, that's what right? we call you guys around the building. Keep so, it simple. you know, you listen, you watch that every single night. We know that CNN colluded with the Clinton campaign. We know they were seeking out questions yeah. for Wolf Blitzer from the DNC to ask Donald Trump. They were they were see, they were feeding questions to Hillary before a town hall. They got caught with their pants down, and it wasn't pretty. <clears throat> that's all I gotta say. It's bad. That's very exposed descriptive, KG. Okay. To the world. <laughs> yeah. Really, and it's so true. they were exposed for the hypocrisy, the fact that they were, as everyone makes fun, CNN Clinton News Network because they were in the bag for her. Uh, they should hashtag every time they do a tweet. I'm with her hashtag because that's how really they were. Now they're upset because their candidate didn't win and they're trying to trash talk for, you know, President elect Donald Trump, who had overwhelming support not only in the Electoral College across this country and so many counties and lit up the country red because people were tired of the mainstream media, tired of politics as usual, and wanted somebody who was going to actually do something different you know, and drain the swamp. Uh, Bowling's favorite thing. Eric, they're making a big deal in the liberal media now um, about what they call fake news. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're if you're the New York Times, if you're a Politico, and you're allowing only Clinton to edit a piece you're writing about her before it goes out, and not yeah, doing the same yeah. for the other candidate, you're fake news. Yeah. If you're feeding questions to one candidate, that's fake news. You're not a news organization. Fake news is entertainment, and it's up to the reader to figure out what's fake and what's real. Go look at the source. Just look where it's coming from. It's what you point out when the Washington Post, when the New York Times, when Politico have stories that are only geared towards trashing one candidate and only geared towards propping up the other. That's even worse than fake news. That's propaganda. Now project the winner of the presidential race, CNN projects. Donald Trump. Trump wins the presidency. All the boys for Trump, you a mega. All the girls for Trump, you a mega. All the veterans for Trump, you a mega. Stand up, get the mega, you a ladder. Make America great again. Make America great again.